Will Liz trust do a good job? <laughs> well, obviously it's been a momentous week for us here. We have a new king, our queen having died yesterday, only two days after Liz Truss became prime minister, after having beaten uh, Rishi Sunak in an election by uh, Tory party members. The uh, various debates and meetings accompanying the election contest have given us some inkling of what, what, what she's uh, like, what she might be like as a prime minister, and the likelihood of her uh, doing a good job. The challenges, look, a, a failing economy, a nearby war, the aftermath of an unprecedented pandemic are clearly enormous challenges for anyone. So, is she up to the job? Well, some are doubtful and others are optimistic. So, let's take a look at both views. First of all, those who say, yes, she is up to it. Uh, well, she's got a good education. Uh, she's a graduate of Merton College, Oxford. She thrived in a, substan a substantial uh, private sector job, which is a useful real world <laughs> experience for any elected politician. More of them should have it, I think. Uh, she has considerable experience of government. She's had uh, six ministerial jobs under three different prime ministers, including foreign secretary. Uh, she became the first female Lord Chancellor. That's pretty impressive. Uh, she beat Rishi Sunak in the leadership elections, a very uh, talented candidate. And in the several televised debates, she uh, presented herself as someone with plans, ideas, and a game plan for the overwhelming challenges that we face as a nation. It'll be tough, but she'll do as good a job as anybody could. Well, what about those who say, no, uh, she's probably not suited, she won't do a good job. Well, just to begin with, she's in an impossibly uh, difficult situation. Not only is there a frightening war going on not too many miles to the east in the aftermath of a crippling pandemic, but the outlook for the nation's economy is as bad as it has been in recent years. It'll be very difficult to spot these problems and to do so in a way that will impress anybody. Uh, perhaps impossibly difficult. Uh, she is seen in some quarters as a creature of the far right, even a fascist to some. And uh, a view like that is clearly out of step with, the, with that of the general population. And, and such an image will make it difficult for her to bring the nation along with her. Uh, she had an affair with an MP, Mark Field, uh, which was not disclosed, by the way, when she was endorsed as a candidate. Uh, her husband uh, may have forgiven her, but for many people, adultery is unacceptable behavior, and that will further diminish her ability to, to lead the nation. Uh, she lacks uh, Margaret Thatcher's leadership and communication ability. That's a woman with whom she likes to compare herself. The biggest difference is that Margaret was, above all, a woman of principle, which Liz isn't. <laughs> Having demonstrated her ability to flip-flop on issues like Brexit when, when seen to be to her advantage, much in the style of the fabled Vicar of Bray, Google that if you don't know that story. That's a good one. Uh, yesterday, less than 48 hours after she took office, a big poll revealed that a quite a, a large share of the public think that, that Sir Keir Starmer would do a better job as prime minister. So that's, that's really not much of an endorsement. Uh, and I guess we have to conclude that she's unlikely to do a very good job. Well, what's my take on all of this uh, situation? Uh, Liz has already put down her marker as a populist, promising huge funding for household energy relief. The cost is enormous and perhaps unaffordable, um, and thus much depends on the Chancellor's plan to fund it, which is promised shortly. Liz is clearly an opportunist without probably real principles, making it harder to opine her strategy for surviving the perfect storm of problems she faces. And sadly, she could do herself a big favor and strengthen her reputation by cracking down on the appalling tax dodging atmosphere in London and among Tory party contributors and those that protect offshore tax havens, but she probably won't. The fact that she was selected by the rank and file of the uh, Tory party means little. Uh, those voting represented less than 1% of the British electorate, 
Also, they seem to prefer Boris, a liar, a narcissist, and an incompetent manager. It's not an encouraging picture, and I'm not terribly optimistic, but I wish it well. Well, any of you aren't going to like that, but that's how I come out. Uh, and uh, you might take a look at some of uh, similar uh, views and other videos of mine, and in any case, please subscribe.